Truth Surge here. Yes, it's kind of weird, but hey, that's kind of how this next guy I'm going to shout out is. He's uh, just kind of one of those weird guys. Actually, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd do a real quick shout out, throw a couple of clips in there, and go check him out if you like. He does uh, just, you know, talk to the camera, a couple of sit down and jam with the guitar vids, you know, kind of like I do. And, uh, some humor, you know, thrown in, sprinkled in. Man, my camera, the color is way off on this thing. I'm going to throw it in the river. Anyway. Creationists say, well, look at the design in this world. Look at how the human eye functions. It had to be designed because it's so wonderfully complex. How could such complexity arise? without an ultimate design in mind from the beginning. Creationists are perfectly good with saying that complexity means that it had to be designed. They are very comfortable saying this, that they have no problem saying that since something is complex, therefore, it had to be designed. But when confronted and asked, well then, if complexity requires designer, a designer, then who designed God? And how do you explain God's complexity? Where did he come from? You guys, please give us time. Please, please, just a little sign. You want proof God doesn't exist? You're looking at him. Think God could make a mug like this? I don't think so. So is it true that God really knows the future? Or is it all just lies? I mean, because think about it. I mean, if he knows the future, then he knows every stupid little thing I'm going to do. And if that's the case, then he must know everything that he's going to do as well. So if God's vision of the future is perfect, then that means he's absolutely stuck into having to act out what he's already predicted. Why don't they talk to me, Daddy? I think I don't belong. Daddy. <laughs> 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 